Hi! Oh my god, chaos today again. Uh, with another, another episode of New Dawn of Tuning. And this time I am doing my Young Sing deck again. So uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm currently trying out uh, Sephra, a Young Sing in here. So to see uh, how well they work in the deck. I'm still not exactly sure about them. But they don't seem very bad, I guess. But I'm not sure uh, if they actually fit with the deck. Uh, Sephra Neo is definitely pretty good uh, to search out your, uh, your Young Sing creation or Young Sing path or with brutality even. So, yeah, I'm still kind of undecided about them, but at least I try, at least I decide to um, test them out. Okay, so it's my turn again. Young things are of course a pretty slow deck. Your opponent has to destroy your monsters. You can activate their effects. Another Chiran. Not going to help much now. So I'm probably going to end my turn once again. I think uh, Young Sings are of course going to get reprinted in the Mega Tins more than likely. Of course, the Mega Tins were announced uh, recently. Wow, Fossil Dina. Well, that sucks a lot. So it's a rock stun pretty much. Alright. Then we have to put them as that. So I might even build young things in, in real life uh, once the mega teens are out. But I'm not completely sure about, about them yet. Yeah, fortunately now I, I can't summon anything from this Chivan, so that kind of sucks. Fossil Dynam was one of the cards I got screwed over with uh, in the tournament. So I'm going to set the Chiran and then Dark Hole to get rid of that Fossil Dynam. Hopefully it goes through. Oh no, Macrocosmos. Ah, uh, this is really annoying. It's like with them still then. It's like with Chewan's effect. I'm getting me. Uh, Let's see. I guess Swanee from the deck. And just try try to attack. And then I will end my turn. That Sephra Fox is not doing much in the hand for currently. So it only works when you paint them someone it or use some weight from the deck. So then you can make something a tuner. Hmm, Young Sink Path. Not going to attack again. Oh, finish chain on that. That's interesting. So I guess end my turn again. 
And then we're going to focus uh, uh, on uh, syncopated text uh, after summer, I think. After the wow, well, that really sucks. Not a force it, but you know. Really fucking annoying. Well, in that case, the young sink bath, shuffling or free to the deck, and then I draw two cards. So basically, both power ice type card. And in August, um, in August, Synchron structure deck is going to get released. So. I am very excited, excited about that, so I'm going to build that deck in real life for sure. Because it, was, it is one of my favorite synchro based decks. And of course, I normally I don't play like very aggressive decks, but I do play a lot of um, a combo decks, I guess, that deck, a card, a specific, specific combo to win. Kimirabal. I guess that's fine. At least I'm not doing very bad. Eh? Activate creation. Should I create brutality? Mm, no, nah, no, really much of a reason to do that. Quite honestly. Let's activate creation's effect. Allowing the summon from the deck, uh, my uh, Tautia. Block Guam. That's not bad, I guess. Opponent could make a rank 4 play with those. With that card, but I don't think it's going to help that much. So I think I'll go for Yase because why not? So yeah, a synchro summon. And going to attack. Of course, the Isaiah is a very powerful synchro monster in the stack. Oh, Grand Mole. Well, that's painful. I have to sooner warning it because it doesn't target and doesn't destroy, so. Hmm, Beyond, that's not bad. I'm able to do some plays. First, I'm going to, going to attack. With Pia. And Yase. Then I'm going to activate Yase's effect. Destroying Pia and one of my opponent's back rows. With Pia effect and Creation's effect. Uh, with creation, I will probably go for another Bian. I'm probably going for the Herald of Arclight play. 
pretty much seal the deal. And then go for Chuan. And then Synchro Summon it. Head out of Arclight. That cannot be destroyed by battle. So I don't think my opponent can do much at this point. Seal of Oricalcus. Well, I think that's fine. I don't think you are able to do much to me. And Diamond Core. That's fine as well. Glockimero Overdose, which is pretty good, just negates the summon of the Alpha Monster by tributing it, which is pretty recently released card. And Mopant summons it, which is completely fine for me. Well, too bad you cannot destroy it by Valor. And it's my turn. Hmm. I don't know why my why my dev relax kinda. Activate the unsync path again. Putting those three back to the deck. Then drawing two cards. Activate MST on that one. That last back row. And there's another trap trick stuff on Nightmare. I think I'll then I finish it with uh, Young Sink Putalte. Doubling that attack. Yep, and that's game. And I think we have time for one more duel at least, so back soon. And I'm back, so let's see how it goes this time. I'm still um, not really very impressed with the Sephra uh, Young Sings. Searching out your creation or path is really good, but the problem is that uh, uh, they can be pretty dead at times because, of course, uh, Sephra Kino is level 6 monster, so it doesn't really do much in the hand. Um, and Sephra Foxy only works when you summon it from the deck, but it in hand it doesn't also do anything aside from using it uh, in the pendulum scale. But of course, young things uh, is are not really a uh, a deck that can use Pendulum Summoning well, so I might uh, drop them, the Sephras. They are pretty good, but kinda unnecessary. I feel at least. But you may be I could like only run one of each, one Sephra Foxy and one Stefanio, just as an option, but uh, uh, and then I don't uh, draw them as much. Currently I'm running uh, two of each. Then I quit both of to add. Now that's one, uh, another portal, I think, okay. 
and Chuan. I guess I'll look at Chuan. Wow, mine crush. That's kind of random. But okay. Yeah, mine crush is getting very popular these days. I guess mostly because of Necros. It's definitely a pretty good card. But I think it's a little bit overhyped. Too bad I don't even have any in real life. Otherwise, I might even consider it. And so it's my turn again. Mass Chameleon. That's not terrible, I guess. But right now I'm just going to attack the face down. I don't even know what my what deck my opponent is playing. Okay, go up bulb. Yeah, it could be anything really. Because many decks can run that card. But it might be either either, either plant synchro, synchrons, maybe a shatals even, because some run that card for Shekinaga. And for the story to play, I guess. Okay, it's plant synchro then. Or it's even silver ones as well. That's another possibility. Enemy controller. Yeah, I can't really stop that. Our point is just going to attack. Which is fine for me. So I guess in main phase 2 my point is going to synchro someone with that card probably. Or armor this one, something like that. Okay, I pull up very small point. So potential combo play, I guess. So I'm probably going to have to bottom a strat. That. And ne next turn I can use Mask to bring back Swanee and go for level 8 play. Yeah, I will go for Boxia yeah, to bounce one card, but not sure how good that play will be. Oh, Young Syncration, not terrible. Go for a Scrap Dragon or Boxia. I guess I just know as one Mask Million. Activate Effect. Try to revive my Sony from the deck. Oh, I Activator. Okay, that's fine then. So I guess I'm just going to attack. Then set up the young syncretion and then I will end my turn. Hmm. 
more background. Shot. That's not bad, but not really helping me much crap. Then. Just going to poke again with Mask Million. Ring of Destruction. And activate Young Syncretion. We both get damage, but then again, I think I can use Young Syncretion's effect. Wow, oh, why it's emptiness? Well, that sucks. But I'm able to change the MST on that. I'm opponent just surrendered, so I won. So not bad. But I'm still not sure about the Sephra Young Sync. Young Sing, so probably will drop them both to one and then see how they work because I really don't like K drawing this card so and like I said Pendulum Summoning is not really good in Young Sings. So uh, this is it for this uh, episode of a new tone of tuning. So uh, next time I'm, I'm will be trying with, trying with a new deck on this series, a Super Heavy Samurai, which is pretty much the uh, Arc 5 era synchro based deck, the first one pretty much. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omaha Chaos out.